guys welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is Shawnee Marie if you are new here welcome so for the title of the video as you guys can tell we are doing the March Boxy Charm unboxing sorry that this video is going up super late by this time everybody should already have the boxy charms if you already set up for it but I recently just got mine like I kept checking the shipping and my shipped on March 11th and I didn't get it until the 14th or the 15th. So it took me a minute to get mine and I already had pre-planned videos to go up on my Tuesday and Saturday upload schedule. But nonetheless, we got the box. We got the goods. So if you guys want to see what I received in my boxy charm for this month, then continue to keep watching. All right, guys. So if you watch my other boxy charm unboxing thing, you already know the drill. My face is basically done, except for the items that I didn't put on my face because of what we need to use for the box. So, obviously, like I said, my face is done because we have an eyeshadow palette in here. We have um, eyeshadow primer. I already looked inside of the box so I know what I needed to do. So, the theme of the box was Lucky because it is St. Patrick's um, Day month. Also, it's also Women's International Month. So, you know, you know. So, yeah. Uh, the theme of the box is called Lucky. So let's see what we received. So the first thing in the box we got was a PMD Silver Per Silver Infused Microfiber Makeup Removing Cloth. <laughs> Lord. So per the card, it is get back to your per self with Silver Per Remove Makeup and Wash Your Skin with the Antibacterial and Anti-Aging Benefits of Per Silver Ensuring a Clean End to Your Day. So it's obviously it's a makeup removing cloth, but I would also use it when I'm doing my skincare as well. When I need to take off um, my cleanser or if I need to take off my mask that I use. Um, so yeah, this is what the removing makeup removing cloth looks like. It's super soft and it's pink. Gotta love it. So yeah, I'm excited to try this. I'll use this today and then I'll let you guys know later on. How it was. I actually want to pick up some more of these removing cloths from AOA Studio, but they're only a dollar. You know, this retails for $30, but I know PMD is an expensive skincare brand because I was looking at their brush because I want to upgrade my, uh, my brush. What is it called? My skincare brush um, to something more upscale i'm using the ulta brand which is cool but i want something that i know i just want to upgrade it and i was looking at this and they usually run around like a hundred and something dollars so yeah it's, it's an expensive brand so next in the box is this frank body glow mask and it's caffeinated so it is a let's see what this is this moisturizing face mask is natural and ultra hydrating. It works to reduce puffiness and give skin extra life, glow, and brightness. It's perfect for pre-makeup, late nights, and morning afters. It's natural, cruelty-free, and only takes five minutes to work. And this retails for $21.95. And on the back it says, for bouncy skin, apply a thick layer two to three times per week. Massage into skin and leave for 10 minutes. Rinse in below. So I actually might be using this later on tonight because I do have, since I have a full face of makeup on, I do want to do a mask. And like, um, if you guys don't know, I am going on a trip next month. So I want to make sure that my skin is looking right. So yeah, I was trying to open this up, but I cannot get this thing open. So again, this is going to be another product that um, I will let you guys know how it works out. So yes, next in the box is a Busy Art Professional Makeup Seamless Eye Primer. So I don't have anything on by Busy Art because it's another 
expensive behind makeup brand that I just cannot afford, okay? I just can't afford it. I mean, yeah, you can do the after pay and the part pay, but I just can't afford it. So I'm happy that I have it in my box because I know Viseart is an expensive brand and this box is only $26.50 because I added it in my taxes. So for you to get this in a $25 uh, box, amazing. So the seamless eye primer works with all eyeshadow with all eyeshadows to ensure crease-free and bright, vibrant wear. And this is actually $24. So it's basically the same amount as the box, and you're getting five items. So that is exciting. So let's see what this looks like. So this is what the primer looks like. It feels like a moisturizer. And it does feel very smooth. And it is clear, so it doesn't give you any white cast or um, like a white base to start your eye makeup with. So we'll be testing this out today. Can my thing focus on me? Thank you. So we have two more items in the box. Next we have the Venus 3 palette from Lime Crime. Now, this is another palette I've never used from Lime Crime. A brand I never used before ever. I know back in the day it was a big controversy around them, and I mean that didn't stop me for wanting to try it. It was just I never got around to trying their products. So this is the like I said Venus Three Eyeshadow Palette. This palette is filled with rebunctious lilac, rose gold, and mauve, and earthly brown shades. The ultra buttery formula sweeps on richly pigmented color that does not fade or fall out. The dreamy lavender and rose gold box is worth for Venus herself. And this retails for $38. So this is, this, let me turn it around. So this is what the palette looks like. Like, it's, like they said, it comes with all these lilac and rose gold and mauve colors. So. We'll be testing this out. I don't know what look I'll be doing with it, but I mean, we're gonna try out something. My only issue is how thick the box is. I'm not a huge fan of that. I don't know if it's gonna fit inside of my makeup collection. So all in all, even though if it is buttery, if it is creamy, if it does do what it needs to do, I probably still give this to my little sister for her to have because again, it just wouldn't fit in my makeup collection anyway. And last but not least, we have another mascara. So I have the Too Faced Damn Girl 24 Hour Mascara. Now I know this was a popular mascara back in the day as well. Again, never tried anything from Too Faced and I know Too Faced is known for like those Smell Good Palettes, their mascara, their, now they're getting really known for their um, foundation. So yeah, and this is what the packaging of it is. And I don't need to read the description of what the Too Faced Damn Girl Mascara is because I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys already know about it. And this retails for $26. So, we are going to get on to doing the eyes um, and testing out all the eye products. Your girl don't know won't hurt her. 
So this is the look right here. As you can tell, the colors from the from the eyeshadow palette went on very vibrantly and smoothly. It was just fine. I'm assuming due to this. However, when I first put this on, like I said, it's very smoothing. So it's obviously a silicone base. So it is kind of slippery. So I would suggest to... Um, to pat this down with a powder or something like that. I just use a brush just to blend it out so it can be somewhat uh, set a little bit, but it was a little bit kind of a slippery mess. So I do want to see how these eyeshadows will perform without an eyeshadow base, but with it, it, it performed just fine. The mascara, I mean, this is my only second time using a hot end mascara. Usually I just use drugstores, but from the look of it, they do look longer. They definitely look volumizing. Like, they look so much thicker. And, like, I can get away with wearing this without eyelashes. But, let's be real, I will put eyelashes on. But you could get away with this just wearing eyelashes. And, far as it for my bottom, I'm not a huge fan of this mascara for my bottom. For my top, it's cool. For my bottom, I don't like it that much. So this will be in the same boat as the Makeup Revolution 5D Lash Mascara where I like it for the bottom, not for the top. So there's that. And like I said for the palette, one thing I will say is that it is a powdery formula. So just be aware of that when you dip your brush in, you know, product will go all over the place. But it's not nothing excessive. The Shimmer Dream, that's the name of it. Oh, Bean is freaking gorgeous. Love it. Like, look at this. I love that color. This I use as a eyeliner, and that came out just fine. And then I use the color Bliss and the color Dreamy. I used Dreamy and the color Bliss all over the lids, and that came out just fine as well. So, all in all, this has been a very good box, so let's add up everything. So this month, this box was worth $139.95. I think that's less than the box from February. I think that box was in the 200s. But, I mean, all in all, you're still getting amazing products for only $25, and you can't beat that with a stick so hope you guys enjoyed watching this boxy charm unboxing if you did don't forget to like comment and subscribe as well as turn on your post notifications get notified when i upload my next video and i'll see you guys in my next one bye